Waste not, want not. Okay, I have a waste phobia. I don't like to waste. Plus the fact that most of the things you have lying around can be used very wisely and save you so much time. So I barbecued last night and I made hamburgers. We're going to make a bolognese sauce today using things you already have. So if you have leftover turkey burgers or hamburgers from a barbecue, don't throw them away. Just use them. I have just one and a half hamburgers. So this will be enough for probably two to four people, depending upon if it's an appetizer portion or an entree. I'm going to crumble this up in a nonstick pan. It doesn't have to be a straight bolognese. You can use some vegetables. You can use some mushrooms. You can do whatever you need. This is a sauce that I've made. It's just a classic marinara sauce. And then we're going to add this and just as easy as that, you're going to put it on medium heat, medium to high heat, and let the flavors blend. And we're going to doctor it up with some herbs and stuff. So, And while we're doing that, I'm boiling a pot of salted water. So this is on medium heat. Now, now that it's in the moisture of the sauce, I'm crushing up the burger bits. I, I like it small and it goes a long way. And that was about one and a half to two cups of sauce and it's about, and it was one and a half decent sized burgers. So this looks like it could make four, four small portions or two large portions. So we'll wait for the pasta to boil and we'll put it together and see how it looks. I used whole wheat angel hair and I like it because it's softer, less coarse, more like the real thing, like white pasta. And it cooks quickly because it's, it's angel hair. It's very thin. So I think it probably took six or seven minutes and I don't cook it fully. It really is not even al dente. It's a little more firm than al dente for a reason. And I'll show you what the reason is. Add a little bit of extra salt. I also, I don't have fresh parsley around. Ideal is fresh parsley. So all I have is chives and cilantro in my house. There's no reason that an onion flavor shouldn't go with a pasta. And it's different, so be different. Dare to be different. Sprinkle a couple of fresh chives. And this is the end of the Parmesan. It's good to put in sauces, and it's good for this microplane, because it's the same thing, we're not wasting. I could have thrown this away, most people would throw it away. But this microplane, it shaves so thin, it's like baby hair. So you're getting all the flavor, but really not as much of the fat. The pasta should not be fully cooked because it's gonna to continue to cook in the sauce. So it should be al dente, not too hard. This is really delicious, it really is. Bon appetit.